Hello everybody and welcome back to Spin Tires Mud Runner. And in today's mod test, I'm going to be using the I can't even pronounce that. Gomen Gomenu or something, especially Unimog backwards. This is especially what is this an early ish Unimog. And obviously you have stuff like carriage, a utility add-on and a garage add-on. Of course we'll throw in the spare wheel. And then the equivalent like a garage cart. And obviously I can't see really see it. Um, I hmm, wonder what caused that. That'll be the next video actually. And see so garage tent and utility cart. Of course since we are all about uh, testing the log hauling capabilities of these trucks, this is what I'm going to do. So first we're going to pretty much follow the same route as I always do. And zip up around by the fuel station to top up because this has a relatively small fuel capacity. And so... Oh, that wasn't something serious. As you can see, this is actually quite a capable vehicle. Not quick, but I mean, this is spin tire. Speed is, isn't is so essential. Except maybe if you're not like a dune buggy or something. But as you can see, it just does not care about things like trivial things like mud. It um, just keeps going. There is a price we paid in relatively high fuel consumption, and there is only a 120 litre fuel tank. And um, I mean I'm burning like 9, 10 litres a minute and I only have 120 litres to play with so you cannot pass a fuel station with this truck. Unless you've got a fuel add-on. But as I, as I said, this thing's pretty relentless. I mean, this is about as quick as it goes. But uh, it just doesn't really care. I mean, I think I... Oh, let's see what happens if I turn the four-wheel drive off doesn't slow it down particularly much. Well, it didn't until I hit the trees. Of course with these sort of cleated tractor tyres it's got on it that probably helped. And you can sort of see the little tractor style PTO sticking out of the front for driven front mounted implements. Well the real one would. Uh, this doesn't obviously doesn't do it but because it's not implemented into the game. Let's say, for example, if you had a mod like this in a uh, farming simulator, you'd be able to attach it to stuff and drive, like mowers and so on. Anyway, enough talking like that. I'll see you again when I get to the log loading area. Alright, we're back. And I'm approaching the log loading area right now. And as, as you can see, I've also found a truck with a fuel tanker add-on wait, sitting uh, waiting for me near the log loading points so I topped it up because as I said this is a relatively small tank and otherwise it would be the challenge would be not so much of getting to the uh, loading point was will this have enough fuel to reach the loading point uh, the objective point and now let's see okay short logs and short logs so we've got six load points on us right now And then we have this, this onward to the next, uh, to the loading, well, unloading point. Not really with it today, it is a Sunday and I didn't have a very good night's sleep last night. And also I spent a lot of, so I did a lot of yard work yesterday. I can assure you lugging a 30 litre sprayer around is very tiring. Especially as although it wasn't particularly sunny yesterday, it was unbelievably humid. Anyway, we're going to duck off here and take the pet way through the water. And I should mention this is actually a very agile truck. And you will be able to work it through the trees and so on. Like so. So I'm just sticking on the edges of the waterways here. And not all of the vehicles I'm going to test are going to come through this way because Obviously some of them don't have the deep fording capability required. And I'm going to come through here I think. Also this seems to have not mind being leaned right over. And let's see, can I get up here? I'm kind of curious. 
that as you can see this thing is just about unstoppable. I mean it doesn't like plugging the drawbar trailer up and over but it did it quite well. And then now that I'm up amongst the trees I actually can't tell where I am. But I know that we stick relatively close to the waterway over there. As you can see with its tight turning circle and short wheelbase I can go pretty much anywhere. And the trailer track's really good as well. And there, as you can see, I found the road. And let's see. And it's only two of the three mods, the trucks that were sitting back at the thing were made by the same guy. And the other one, I'm not going to try and pronounce it, but it's basically a Wartburg with a scrub craw or something. That'll be one of the next mod test videos. As you can see, this one is actually very relentless. Um, this is going to be a very short video, unfortunately. I guess I'm going to have to find some tougher challenges for this one. Maybe a map exploration as I'm starting to get mod maps now. Although, I'm still waiting for spintires.nl to start really uploading them. So it was my preferred source for spintires maps. As I kind of prefer websites where they do everything in Thing I don't like where you get linked to another site to download the thing because half the of those sites will make my uh, antivirus squeal and freak out and start blocking everything because uh, viruses, viruses everywhere. Oh, I sometimes wonder if it's just a bit twitchy. Anyway, as you can see, this was a successful delivery and it had no trouble at all. So it's a very durable vehicle. Of course, now I have to work out how I'm going to set this up for tomorrow morning. The only downside of doing them all one after the other is now I have to deal with uh, the fact that it would probably be night when I'd make the next delivery. Still, I'll see you next time in Spin Tires Mud Runner.